Okay, so now that we have some gateways online, let's take a spin around the user interface here and, and see what's what. Uh, first and most obviously is the configured devices table and the online devices table. The online devices table is, is where GCE puts the gateways that it's discovered online. Uh, it goes and talks to them, fills in their information, and, and builds a list down here. The configured devices is where you store information about the gateways that you're either going to save to disk or load from disk. Uh, it's where you can do some offline edits and so forth. And you get those there simply by dragging and dropping uh, gateways to the top uh, table. You can see that the backgrounds turn green. That means that they're bound to each other and that it, it knows that it's a configured entry up here, but it knows that the gateway matching its information is down here. And if we went and put in a name like now, you can see that it shows that, hey, I'm still bound to that one, but I have different information than what the one has down here. And you can simply drag and drop that back down here. Ooh. Getting my dragging messed up here. There we go. And there we go. Now they match again. Uh, governing these two tables are these four tabs up here. DMX gateways, show control gateways, IO gateways, and all gateways. We're currently in the all gateways view, which means all types of gateways show up. Um, but it only shows the common properties across all of the gateways. Status, name, type, IP address, and IP mode. If we go and look at DMX gateways, suddenly we only see DMX gateways. Well, two ports, four ports, uh, later on one port. Uh, but now we have more properties that we can look at. We can actually see uh, the port properties, one, two, three, and four, and two port, just one and two. Uh, but we can edit these directly in the table and change something to be an output, set its universe number, uh, and so forth. Um, same thing with the top in the configured devices. And as we go through these, show control gateway, here's three properties just for that. The SMPTE group ID, the MIDI receive, and the MIDI transmit IDs. IO gateway has a analog in group ID, relay, output ID, and the serial RS-232 port ID. And then back to all gateways. Um, down here at the bottom, you can see we've got it's showing five DMX gateways online, one show control, and one I.O. These are running counters of, so you can see how many of the different types it's found and how many are online. And then if you take all those and add it up, it's the seven devices connected down here, and here's a grand total. A couple other things real quick. Show configure devices and show online devices. These are both checked. What these do are show or hide these two tables. So if you just want to see online devices, you want to get more room, bink and the configured devices go away. Uh, likewise, you can go in the other direction, or if you want to turn them both off, you get a whole big screen of nothing, but that's not terribly useful. Uh, let's turn them all back on. And then last down here is Discover Devices. Uh, from the previous video, Discovery Service, the SLP service, this controls that from the front window. Reason being that if you've got a, a giant config or a giant network with a lot of Net3 gateways on it, you may get to a certain point where you say, yeah, I see what I need to see, and you can turn off the discovery of devices. It essentially freezes this display. It's not going to go and discover any more uh, gateways. So if I put on another five gateways right here, they wouldn't jump in the table and I wouldn't see them and, and everything. Normally you're going to leave that on so that if you do get a new gateway, uh, it'll just pop in and show up. Uh, and briefly here, we'll go through the main menu. Um, new, we'll start a new config. If I click that right now, that top table is going to go away and it says, hey, you're going to do this without saving. Yeah, go ahead. And it clears it. I can also open a saved config. I can merge a saved config with um, one that's already loaded. Uh, and If it sees duplicates, it'll tell you that there are duplicates and give you three choices. Either keep the one you're importing keep the one that's already in the table, or keep both, but make the one you're importing uh, a separate copy. Uh, save and save as preferences. I'll come back to that one. Uh, unprotect IP addresses makes it so you can edit your IP addresses if you have static IPs and such. 
Um, it's password protected. Uh, it's a unique password of net3, all lowercase. Uh, you can also change that from its default. Show log file or exit, which we're not going to do right now. Uh, edit, you can insert a new device. In this case, it'll bring up a dialog saying what types of devices you can insert. And if we go through this real quick and we just say with the defaults and all of those, it'll just put one in up here. It's not green. It's not tied to anything yet. So if you're off-site, you're not where you're going yet, and you want to start to build your config, you can do that here, save it, get it to site, and then bind it to actual uh, gateways on the network. You can also then select it, delete an entry. Below here is also edit device patch and device configuration, which we'll cover more later. Uh, it's the same thing that if you get, if you double click here on a gateway, right click, it shows up again. You can edit the device configuration. View, these are the two buttons that we we're showing you down here. They're the same thing that if you want to hide the configured devices, you can click that or bring them back. Online, uh, apply configuration to the network. It takes all of the gateway information you have in your configured devices table and applies it to your online devices down here uh, when they're matched. Uh, refresh will go and rediscover all of the, the gateways in your online table. Set device network mode, I'll go back to in, a, in another video coming up, but it's where we went and changed the mode for uh, the DMX gateways so they were in net three mode. Update device software, again I'll cover that in a, another video, and reboot devices. It will just simply put out a message telling all of the gateways online to reboot. Network, uh, I've already shown you this one, Configure network and services. This is where we went and turned on DHCP service, address service, update service or TFTP server, time service, and discovery. Also where you can configure all of those services as well. Help. Uh, a good one here is legend. This brings up uh, a dialogue showing you the icons for all the status stuff. Bound, unbound and the different icons here. It's a handy dandy little reference. Also here are help topics and we're gonna say allow and what you get is a full online help system. Uh, this is a pre-release version. There will be more over here in the TOC but uh, you can click around and and reveal more information. Um, there's an index. You can search glossary um, so there's full online help and and that is the user interface of GCE now we'll go into more specific topics of configuring DMX gateways show control gateways IO gateways and a couple of these specialized uh, options